Hey guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome back, bienvenidos. If you are an existing viewer, if you are a new viewer, welcome. So my name, for those of you guys who don't know, is Karen Sarai. I am a Latina beauty influencer, beauty guru, YouTuber, whatever you want to call me. And I create all things beauty on this channel. I also incorporate cleaning videos. I do home videos. I do a little bit of everything on here. You guys never know what you're going to get with me. So I really like keeping you guys on your toes and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. So today's video is going to be a hair tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how I achieve gorgeous, luscious, voluminous, bomb waves using a flat iron. If you guys have never used a flat iron to achieve waves, you are missing out. It is a way to go and it is a style that I love so much. It's like my signature style when I wear my hair down. I find my curls to just look so gorgeous when I do this and I'm able to achieve many different styles of waves as well, which makes it really cool. So some days if I want to go really tight and curly, I can do it that way. If I want them more beachy, more tasseled, more just like next day kind of hair. Like there's so many different kinds of waves you can do with this. And on days I don't want to do my hair wavy, I can wear it straight and it looks just as good. Right now my hair is in this little chonguito, but once we get started, I'm going to show you guys how I install in my extensions and tips and tricks on how to hide your hair if you got short hair like mine. So we got a lot of like learning to do in this video. It's going to be really good. I'm going to make it as easy as possible for you guys and really explain everything and then like halfway and speed it up so you guys can really um, get an idea once you like know the pattern and how to do it. But other than that, it's like a really good video and I'm so excited because once my hair is done, I'm like in a really good mood. Having your hair done just does it for me. It like finishes my whole look. So I am super excited to get into today's video. A few months ago, I also mentioned to you guys that I am one of GHG's newest brand ambassadors, which is very, very exciting because I am such a big fan of GHG. If you guys are in the hair industry or get your hair done in a professional salon and your stylist uses GHG, you know what I'm talking about. They have some of the best tools, blow dryers, curling irons, flat irons, and I'm so excited to be their newest brand ambassador. I'm going to actually be the brand ambassador for the next year and I've actually already started posting hair tutorials on my Instagram So if you guys follow me on there, you guys have probably seen them already I've been doing so many different looks for you guys uh, But this is actually like my first official YouTube video for them So it's very very exciting and we decided to go with like the signature waves because this is a style that I wear so much And I love and it's something that I wanted to do with you guys So a big thank you to GHG for being a partner with me and working with me in today's video And also a big thank you to you guys for supporting my channel uh, Without you guys, I would not be anywhere where I would not be where I am and I would not have these opportunities that I get. So I thank you guys for every single thing that's come my way and just being where I am today in life. Let's get on with you. Um, really quickly too, before we go into styling, I wanna mention what we're gonna be using in today's video. So first and foremost, we got the GHG Platinum Plus Styler. This one is the white one. This right here is gonna be the baby that makes all the waves. And then towards the front of my hair, I'm actually gonna jump into the GHG Curve, just to get a little bit more of a softer curl towards the front. You can achieve it with this, but I personally like how this leaves my bangs. So we're gonna move into this one towards the end of the video. And then right here, I have two heat protectant sprays that I like that I'll explain to you guys why I use them in a bit. We also have some dry shampoo and texture spray um, a little bit of tresame for some hairspray and then the mannequin styling paste which I use um, it's not always something I use but I keep it on side just in case I need to I'll explain through the way which products I use if I decide to use them I just have them always right here um, I also always have clips around because we need to pin the hair up and then for the bottom of my hair because I'm gonna show you guys how to pin my hair up. I have bobby pins and little elastic bands right here that I'm gonna show you guys why I use them. So that's kind of just everything that I have right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and show you guys this next because it looks crazy. Also, this is my last day as a brunette because we are about to go back to the light set, which I'm very excited about. I have not had my hair light or blondish or light brown in a very long time. So I'm really excited to lighten up my hair. It's been great. I've been loving the brunette life. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> my earrings, let me go get them one second. <laughs> okay, so much better. I need to put my earrings on. Uh, but anyways, this is my hair. Air dried, there's absolutely no product in here not style, there's nothing, it's nothing, it's just my hair. Uh, no extensions either. So I wanna give you guys kind of an idea of how my hair looks um, without anything in there. As you can see, it's pretty short, mid-length. Definitely needs some styling done to it to look you know, really good. So like I said, this is my hair without extensions and because of the length and the way it looks, it actually uh, doesn't blend when I wear extensions. So because of that, I have to pin my hair up. So for that reason, I have to do this little trick to make it all really work. So I start off by splitting my hair just right above my ear, just like this. 
And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this part up. So this is like the part that we are gonna be seeing out when I put my extensions, but this part, we're gonna actually pin it up. So from there, I go ahead and split it down the middle and I'm gonna create two braids. Before I do, I'm gonna grab my comb and just do a super, super light tease. This will allow the extensions to grip on a little better. Just a light one. You don't have to do too much because we're gonna be braiding it. I'm gonna just do a quick braid and I'm like literally the worst at doing braids. And then now I'm gonna go in with these little hair ties and just secure it. So now that the braids are done, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pin them up in the back with bobby pins to put them up. And this is gonna keep them away from falling down. And from there, we're gonna clip on the extensions directly over the braids. So now I'm gonna be going in with my Bellamy extensions. I love Bellamy extensions. I seriously have been using theirs for so many years and I've been using them since they actually started their brand. Um, I definitely think that their quality has improved so much through the years. And I feel like for as thick as my hair is, I need something as thick as this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the three weft right here. And this is gonna be kind of like the middle one. Ooh, there we go. And now I'm gonna go in with another three weft. So now we're going to the middle section and we're actually gonna go up kind of into a V shape. And then for this row up here, I went ahead and did the same thing and did a light little braid. And I'm gonna go ahead and now put the four clips in. And then working up to the top of my hair, I'm just gonna place extensions in a bunch of random spots. Just work it wherever. Again, all depends on how your hair is. And I'm just gonna place them everywhere. But you can see towards the front of my hair, I'm gonna actually scoop my baby hairs down because the hair right there is a lot thinner. So I don't want it to pull on my hair too much, but I also don't want that to like break. So I'm moving it all forward. And ta-da. Right now they're just like straight and they need styling. And once they get styled, you're gonna be literally blown away. So I'm gonna go in before I start off anything with my Gigi Heat Protectant Spray. This to me is a must when styling your hair. It's gonna protect it and really keep your hair nice and healthy because this is extensions and I make sure my real hair, I wanna protect it as much as possible. So I'm gonna spray this throughout the hair. I also like to use the Bubble and Bumble. Uh, this is a thermal protective mist with honey protective complex. So both of these are really good. I kind of just go back and forth. Um, just whichever one I'm in the mood for, but I always spray this on my hair before I ever go into any kind of styling. So now we're gonna get into the fun part of today's video, which is styling. And I'm super excited to show you guys how to get these waves. So before we go into the tutorial, I do wanna talk about some key benefits that this is gonna do for your hair, because this is actually more than just a flat iron. It's actually gonna really help to protect and benefit your hair in the long run. So by using this, you'll actually notice 20% more shine in your hair it's also a color protectant as well and then it's also going to give you 70 percent less breakage in your hair so it's actually really keeping your hair nice and healthy and you're probably wondering how that works or what makes this any more different than a regular kind of flat iron so this actually only has one setting in here like you turn it on by the way it heats up in 20 seconds and then if you guys ever leave your house and you forget about it an hour later like oh my God, my flat iron. it actually turns off after 30 minutes of nobody using it like it goes into sleep mode which is pretty cool but there you go, heats up in 20 seconds, and it only has one heat setting on here. And that setting has what is called predictive technology. Okay, we say it again, predictive technology. And pretty much it can read your hair, the thickness of it, how coarse it is, what your hair needs. So it's gonna style accordingly to your hair needs. I hope that makes sense. When I was younger, I used to use like some, you know, whatever kind of flutter, and I would shoot it up to like the highest temperature, which I think was like 450, maybe 500. And months and months and months after using it, you know, my hair was sizzling at the end. It would just fall off all the time. So this is the opposite of that. It's really gonna protect your hair in the long run. So now that we know a little bit about how it works, we're now gonna move into its styling. So what I like to do is just kind of first smooth it out, a really light smooth. And then from there, I'm gonna go and start where I want my curl to start. I'm gonna do one full turn. And then from there, I'm gonna glide it down. So you, all you have to do is really rotate the tool to get the curl that you want. Now, if you guys are curious as to making sure that you did do one full turn, find something on the flat iron that will remind you that you did one full turn. For me, it's always gonna be the little button right there. So when I go over, as long as that button is right where it started, that's how I know I did one turn, I'm gonna hold it and go slow. When creating these curls, remember, the slower you go, the tighter the curl. 
the faster you go, the looser the curl. Really just all depending on how you want your waves to look. And when doing this hairstyle, some people like to alternate the curls. They like to do some in, some out, and so on. I personally like to go just one way, and I always go away from my face especially towards the front. Uh, whenever I'm going for like a beachy look, I will go ahead and alternate the top section. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this section right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just do one around, hold, and then from there we're gonna start gliding. And then right at the end, I actually like to twirl and straighten it out. I never like to get my curls super like curled in at the bottom. I prefer it to be a little straight. This will give it a little bit more of a relaxed curl. So this is just kind of an idea of the first one, how it will look. And now I brush all my curls out at the very end. I let them cool down like this. I'm actually gonna clip this piece up and then do that bottom one. Go on again, there we go. And then you can also go like this and squeeze it up. And this will just allow the curl to cool down, but then it does get like a little curlier. But it's not so crazy that this does this. Um, I also really feel like the style of the plates really help with that as well. In the past when I've had like flat irons that are really, really flat, I find it a little bit more harder to achieve it. So I just think that the plates help out in general. If you guys are wondering as to how long this takes me to do, it's actually pretty like fast for me to get this done. Obviously when teaching, it takes a little bit longer because I'm going step by step. But when I'm doing it myself, like getting ready, it's super, super quick. I'm gonna go ahead and again, do one full turn. See how easy that is? Like, these curls look so good. So now moving on to this little section right here. All right, so now we're moving on to the side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I feel like this side's a lot faster to me than the other side. I think it's maybe because it's my right side, but it literally is a lot faster to me. Look at those curls. Okay, so now we're moving into the midsection of the hair and I'm gonna start towards the back once again. And then for this side, it's gonna look like I'm kind of curling it a little different. Even though it is the same, I think it's just the positioning kind of changes. So don't be alarmed if you feel like you're doing it a little bit different. Woo! <laughs> so as I get closer to the top of my hair, you're gonna notice I start to curl a little bit closer to the root. This to me just gives it a lot more volume. Obviously towards the bottom, I don't need that volume from root to end. I just kind of need it maybe like more towards the middle of my hair, but Definitely towards the top and the front, I'm gonna go closer to really, really get the body. So my whole goal when I get to the top is to really marry the hair together, meaning I want my hair to blend in as much as possible and for it to not be as obvious. I go ahead and flat iron it just to really, like I said, marry the two together. And let's see, this can be a little tricky, but we're gonna go closer, but also gonna go a little softer. So if they're a little bit more relaxed, so if we go too tight, these will end up being super curly. You could see it just blended in really nicely with those. I'm also going a little bit more in a downward motion. And I'm just, see, I'm just making sure that it's blended nicely together. We're gonna go ahead and pretty much smooth out the root. And then right there, we're gonna go ahead and just let it drop. And I told you guys at the front, I was gonna use the curling iron and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So just kind of like that, right? Um, I'm gonna get the first hair 
and turn it on perfect it's nice and on and i'm gonna do this pretty much over what i just did with the flat iron and this is just going to give me a super soft curl and then same thing with this side right here we're gonna go ahead and go halfway all the way to the end and i'm just letting them kind of just sit with each other All right, so the curls are all done. Curls for the girl. Okay, so now that they're done, we're gonna go ahead and bring it forward. Now a white tooth comb is gonna be your best friend. Yes, you can't go in with the paddle brush. I do it all the time, but for really like texture to detail waves left out, I love using a white tooth comb. This one's also from GHD. So I'm gonna bring it forward and I'm actually gonna go in first with the texturing spray from The Way. I'm just gonna add it throughout. And then now I'm just gonna go in with my comb and start brushing it out. And it's nice because you brush it out, so it's gonna take away the tightness, but it's gonna all just kind of blend in together. Yes, oh my God. These are the curls, I love them. Now if you ever get here and they look a little too curled, you can actually just take in the Platinum Plus Styler to make them just a little bit more straight. I'm gonna show you the difference too, like before brushing them out and then not brushing them out. Some people like them this way. Personally, I love this side oh I love it looks so good next side don't be worried if they're too tight or they're not exactly how you want them to look because once they cool down and you brush them out they really fall in place and whatever needs just a little bit of fixing you can definitely go back in and fix it if you need to this just really really does it for me I am obsessed also if you want to add volume like this all you gotta do is go through the hair and then pull up and it will give it like slight volume it's up to you if you really want it this big you don't have to um personally though i'm gonna take all the volume i could possibly get next i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the tresame hairspray and spray the top and then lightly just go down with the back of the comb you can use your hands a brush i just uh want to do that to just kind of flatten it out and then one last thing i'm going to do is actually go in with my r co mannequin styling paste this is like my favorite paste i've talked about this so many times to you guys i think every like hair tutorial i use it because it's that good but i like this because it's almost like a pomade but not really it's never going to weigh it down or flatten it out it just helps to really like hold pieces it kind of tends to get a little crazy so for me in the front i always get these like little little pieces that kind of get out of control so it holds it down um and it's called a mannequin because you're able to still move it around it stays unless you move it so i do it like right here so this part can stay but if i ever want to like add a volume or move it i definitely can um but you guys that is it on these curls i'm gonna do a quick makeup touch up uh to do the final look and give my little beyonce hair moment i seriously look like a different person from beginning to end um, but i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys want to see next let me know if there's any hairstyles you guys want to see in the future and yeah with that being said guys thanks for watching los quiero mucho take care i'll see you later